Hi everyone and hello from the Langfuse office in Berlin. My name is Hasib and I'm an engineer here at Langfuse. Today is day three of our launch week and we are launching one of the most highly requested features today, multimodal support. As you know, LLMs have grown more powerful in recent months. Leading models from both OpenAI and Entropic are inherently multimodal beyond just text prompts and responses. One can now feed images and audio into a model and get voice output as a response, for example. Naturally, our Langfuse users with multimodal apps wanted native support for all modalities in their traces. In our community's GitHub discussions, multimodal support was one of the most highly upvoted features. So today, we are excited to launch multimodal support. You can enrich your Langfuse traces now with images, audio, and attachments of your choice. So when using our OpenAI integration in our Python and TypeScript SDKs, no code changes are needed on your end. Simply update your SDK to the latest version and multimodal inputs and outputs are traced for you. Let's take a look at a multimodal trace resulting from an OpenAI execution. Here we see a Putong claimants a stock and we are asking the model to describe what they see in this picture. We see the picture traced in line and um, together with the model response. Pretty exciting and impressive what the model can see, if you ask me. Or let's take a look at audio input and output. Audio files can be played directly inside the trace data view and transcripts are added to the output for convenience. Here I ask uh, for a joke about the city Berlin and let's see what the model returns to us. Pretty nice. In general, if your multimodal assets are passed or returned from the model using base64 data URIs, they will be detected by our SDKs automatically and uploaded to Langfuse servers for you. No additional code changes needed on your side in this case. Would you like to add further context to your traces? If so, use the Langfuse Media Wrapper class to declare an attachment and our SDKs will do the heavy lifting of detecting them and uploading to Langfuse servers for you. For example, here I wanted to add an PDF as context in the metadata field of this trace and we can see it being traced right here. So if I open it, I see the Bitcoin white paper. Again, we are very excited to ship multimodal support to you and help you build better multimodal LLM apps. Please check out our docs for a technical deep dive and let us know your feedback on GitHub. That's it from me. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more big releases in the coming days of Langfuse Launch Week. Ciao, ciao.